Did you know that you can create a button hover effect like this using Tailwind? Let's learn how to do it. Let's create a div and use the group class so we can use a group hover effect. Let's set the position to relative and make it a flex container and center the items. To create the layers, gonna create three buttons. Let's position it absolute, set a width and a height. Let's make the text white and make it bigger. Give it some rounded corners, delete the border, make the cursor pointer, indicating that this is something click and let's set a background color using arbitrary values. This is a blue color with a 60% opacity. We're gonna create a backdrop blur effect. This button will be at the very bottom, so we're gonna set its set index to 1. Let's use transition transform and duration 300 to make the hover effect smooth. Let's also set a transition timing, which will be in and out. On group hover, we are going to move this on the x-axis by 1%, which will move it to the right. And also on group hover, going to move it to the top by 3%. There is a little typo here. We need a parentheses. We're going to create two more layers like this. So let's copy and paste this. First, we're going to use a light blue. Then we're going to increase the Z index. So this button will be on top of the first one. So Z index 2. You're going to move this button to the right by 3% instead of 1. And to the top by 12% instead of 3. And the third button is going to have a lighter blue. And it's going to be on top. So Z index 3. You're going to move it to the left by 5. And to the top by 24%. Inside the last button, you're going to have a text. Let's see. And there you go, looks perfect.